Hello! Welcome back to Dogwood Paper Arts. This is Angela Toma talking to you from Sweet Home, Oregon, a little place in the foothills of the Cascade Mountains. And it's a beautiful little place, but it's like far away from everything. <laughs> so, but we make do. We have, we have enough stores to keep us a-okay. So, um, I wanted to show you that I am using uh, Shabby Dabby Doodah uh, papers to complement my Stamperia or Stamperia, however you want to say it. Look how beautiful it matches. And this is going, and I have printed my own um, coffee dyed papers on the back. So um, these won't all go in, but a number of them will definitely go in. Let me back this out a little bit. So here's the Stamperia, or Stamperia, however you say it, I don't know. But just look at how well it matches everything. It's beautiful. Um, of course, this doesn't have um, lavender all over it, but you know, you wouldn't know it just to, to take a glance at it. You'd say, oh, look at all that pretty color. But look at just how yummy it is with this paper pad. Isn't it something? See down here how pretty that is? Oh, look at that. Yummy, yummy. Let's see if we can do it this way so you can see both sides. Let's see all three. But it matches, it really does match perfectly. So that is going to be the inside pages plus some of the tea dyed papers that I have and then I may stick in some of my own coffee dyed. So let's take a look at Tina's packet. Um, I didn't print everything out but like I said I did print the backs of it uh, with my own coffee dyed papers. Isn't that beautiful? And I printed mine out so that they would go clear to the edge. So sometimes things seem a little cut off. But it's just because I enlarged them to fit my paper. Isn't that beautiful? And this is... 25 or 27 pound paper. Um, I think it is going to be fine. It is stiff enough not to tear and stiff enough to write on, yet it's flexible and will take a pen very, very nicely. Just the kind of paper I love to write on. Didn't Tina do a lovely job on these? Absolutely beautiful, Tina. And even in this color, it is going to go very, very well with with the rest of the packet. It's just so beautiful. She did a lovely job. And I do have my coffee dyed papers for sale. Um, I don't know if I have the whole pack in a digital, but I do know that I have the coffee dyed with um, ledger sheets behind it and receipts. And 
And I will put Tina's link down below today along with the other people that I'm slowly gathering up and putting on there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Just very, very pretty. Very feminine and, and just... Uh, just yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, I love that one. Look at those colors. And I print mine out on um, an Eco Tank, uh, Epson Eco Tank. I can see that I need to line up my colors a little bit better. I'm starting to get lines, so I need to go through and clean the printer heads and stuff. So, almost through them. You can see it's a nice, I bought two packs and then I bought an ephemera piece, um, I think, or anyway, I'm not sure how I bought it, but um, I'll put a link to her store and then of course you can take a look at what she has. It's absolutely amazing. She has a beautiful blue kit that I want to get. And there we go. And the other thing I printed out were the pockets. And I've got, gone ahead and cut those out and folded them. And these six pockets will go into our signatures, two per signature. And what else did it come with? Let's see. I don't know where I put it right now. I don't know. I put it somewhere. If you happen to see it walking past here anywhere, let me know. <laughs> and then we'll just take it from there. So we need to decorate. Oh, I know. Some of it might be up here. Um, there were some butterflies and... Um, you're the little butterfly. Yeah, it had some butterflies and flowers, and that might be it. I might have cut it all up, and it's up here somewhere. Not in there. But, anyway, as we come across it, I will certainly let you know. And like I said, I am still using um, some of the papers from uh, the ephemera from my porch prints. And what else? That's this packet. I printed out several varieties, and I haven't I haven't backed these yet, but I do want to put them back in here. Oh, look at this. My cat has been up here today chewing on things. Little monster. <laughs> He's my little monster. And let's see. I think this is my porch prints too, isn't it? Yes. This is a little envelope thing that she had and I thought we might make that eventually. Some of the ephemera that I have printed out and cut up and back is um, belongs to that extra pocket thing. But since I bought the digital, I can print it again. And let's see. Well, now what did I do with it? Oh, here it is. I'm trying to keep them in the packets so that in the plastic packets so I'll remember who I bought from. Okay so let's um, move on to these six pockets today. And let's see. 
So what is everyone up to today? I um I don't know what I'm up to. No good. I'm up to no good. Oh, that's not it. Um So let's see where we're at. Um that's not it. No, that's not it either. See me on my phone? Bringing up YouTube? So, I want to say good morning to Carol at Free Spirit Arts and to Martha. And, oh! And Robin, hello. And Kathy and Angela Arnold. Lori Gordon. And Josephine Marie, hello everyone. Those are my latest uh, posts. And, um, let's see. I have new posts that I need to respond to. And I will be getting to those shortly. And I want to welcome all my new YouTube subscribers. Um, I have 340. I had 342 yesterday, so I lost some people yesterday. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> now I'm not really whining. If I am not of interest to them, that's fine. There's plenty of places they can go check out and find somebody that, you know, clicks with them. That's the, the important part. So we have these. What to do, what to do, what to do. Uh, we have some little leafy designs. That's too big. So is that. So I don't really have a huge plan today. Um, I know that there's things that I want to do. Those are all too big. Now I, the other thing I thought of is I can get out my Edith Holden. Now that looks kind of nice on there, doesn't it? Um, oh, there's a big washi stamp. Look at that. Pretty. Uh, I can get out my Edith Holden book and we can use that to add things. Oh, look here. Even, you know, the yellow flowers are fine. It's not my first choice, but of course, I'd want to stick within the the pink and blue and uh, purple range if I can. Oh, look at this. That's a lavender. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to save that one out. Because it obviously is the correct flower. And it'll be a good paper to insert into the journal. Here's another one that is, um, these I got off of um, an Etsy site. I can't remember which one. Uh, Wintertime Crafts, I believe. This would be another good one to put inside the journal. So let's set it over there. Oh, there's a nice one, too. And let's see. Okay, I have some little washi stickers in here. Oh, she looks like Christmas. You look like Christmas, honey. Let's put you in the Christmas box pretty soon. Oh, there's a pretty one. That's pretty. 
But I want to save that for the nature book. I don't want to put a bunch of mushrooms in here. I do have my Tim Holtz flowers. And I know there's a lot of the pinks and purples in that. And I do have these beautiful butterflies. Look at them. My goodness. Here's a good one. It's in this frame. Well, that's one of the trees. So... Um, lots of little things in here. Butterflies and some flowers and here's my granddaughter's necklace I'm supposed to fix. Here's some little things. Now here are, let's check these out. See what these are. These are notes on nature here. Cute little box. But, oh my goodness, so hard to get into. Teeny tiny flowers. These would go on these pockets really well. Especially these nice purple ones here. Have a peek. Yeah, those will go on there just fine. Okay, well, we have some ideas here. Let's put these back there. And what was this one? Oh, I think this is little mushrooms. Have a peek at it while we're here. Oh yeah, little stamps. So those are cute. So we might consider those as decorations on there. Just going to set those up there. And let's see. Put that back in there. Let me grab the Tim Holtz. Oh, uh, what did I do with it? I think it's over here. Lots of... Oh, there's some butterflies! Oh boy! Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Lots of perfect little flowers that we can put on here. Okay, so we have a direction. That's good. Let me get my mic out of the way. Excuse me if it makes a bunch of noise. There, is that okay? Did it stop making noise? <laughs> Sometimes it makes a big old noise when I have to move it around. Not going to use that one. What do they do with the washy ones? Oh, they're back here. Let's have a look at those. And this is wintertime crafts also. Oh, I, you know, I don't even know how these come off of here, so... It will be a surprise. Just kind of skimming through. That's uh, not a not the right flower, but it'll work. It's purple. It's pretty pink hollyhocks. Oh, lilacs. 
lilacs are so pretty. I love how they cluster and bloom and I couldn't tell you a favorite flower. I uh, absolutely love flowers. So that might be a little big. Well, depends on what we put down on the pocket first. So we have those. Yeah. Let's put those up there. Okay, so, oh, I'm not going to use those stamps on there. That's a pretty one. That would work. We've got all kinds of goodies we can, we can try out. That one I don't want to use. Wrong color. Um, there we go. Let's take a look at this. That will not go over this fabric, I'm sure. So let me just fold these sides in like this. Um, don't want to cover the whole front, of course, but I would like it to be a little bit of a square on one of them. We'll practice. Let's practice with the first one. Okay, so if we have that down, let me turn my glue on its side so it will be ready to be used. And I think what we'll do next is go ahead and ink this up a little bit. Now you can use any color you want. Uh, the Tim Holtz Distress Inks come in a variety of purples that are absolutely beautiful. If you want to stick in the same color family. I'm going to use Pinecone today by Versicolor. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? I think that will help us define our edge a little bit better. I think I want to put this down, but I need a little something behind it. So I am going to grab... Oh, there's a dog toy. How about a dog toy? I'm going to grab... Oh, I do have this. And I have a pattern. Let's have a look. Oh, I just hate to... I love these old patterns. Let's see how I do that. Let's see. I'm getting there. I'm looking for my music sheets. Nope. Oh, goodness. Oh, I have all kinds of goodies in here. Oh, hey. We have some really old dictionary page work really nice. Oh, excuse my head. Oh, 
trying to get comfy in here. Okay, I'm going to just leave those in that drawer for now. Sometimes I think the best way to do a music sheet is just to, just to tear it up. There's, well, you always want to kind of look at the words and be sure that you have the words on there that you want. Because sometimes there can be words you really don't want. Or it might be singing about, I don't know, something sad or something you wouldn't want in your journal. That one is not really large enough. Now, although that shows white around the edges, that would still be okay. Uh, let's look at the other side. Just keep sticking to my fingers, you guys. Okay, I like that a little better. You need to take off this little bit on the top. Not saving that little piece of paper. Okay, so let's start here. Let's go around our edge lightly, which means I can't go really fast with it or I will ink it up completely. <laughs> you know how I am. Ink, ink, ink. Okay, to lay this paper down, I'm sure we can use the art glitter glue. It works very well. Boy, you clean out those tips and you have glue that works for a long time. Oh, isn't that pretty? Makes you wonder if it even needs fabric. That would be okay if was just a little taller. We might do that on a different one. No. No. Go with what you were doing, Inch. Okay. Going with what I was doing. We have six of them total, so there's a lot that can be done. If we don't like one, we'll like the next one. But, you know, no matter what, they always turn out good. They always turn out far better than we think they're going to. It's just so hard to, to know, you know. Sometimes you're thinking, oh, what did I do? 
but really things just turn out okay anyway it's just kind of neat that's the neat thing about art this stuff just comes out so I hope everybody is well. Anybody got plans for Christmas? Our plan is to, to go with Christmas this year. Um, it'll be good because I really miss my grandkids and I really miss my kids. And I don't know going into the new year without spending some time with them I think would be just a little too much it's not something that I really want to do I think we'll put this on there even though I backed it with some beautiful papers I think Oh, that's supposed to stick, but I'm going to just go over it with this one too. Just in case. Dear, what can the matter be? Now, uh, the Tim Holtz flower. This looks like some good sizes here. Oh, look at that. I got glue clear up there. Made it a little glossy. Now we'll just grunge it up a little more. There we go. Okay. So we do have this, which is looks fine. I don't like this glue gooping up up there. I like this one because it's taller than the other elements that we've put on there. No. And it's a slightly different color. So I do like that. Nope. So I think that's what I'm gonna go going to go with. I'm going to do it. What I need is something right there to ward off that where I, my glue went over, over and beyond where it was supposed to go. Oh, my husband's home.
he went to the store this morning. There we go. Don't know what we could put up there. Every anything we do is is going to be just too much. So I think the only thing I can think of is to get out something that would um, oh maybe a little piece of lace right there. Maybe a little piece of lace. Maybe a little bigger piece of lace. Like this. What do you think? Don't watch, I'm going to cut this one off. This looks like a tatted piece. I'm going to try to go carefully. since this glue seems to want to spread all over the place today. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now, if we move this piece right down to here, whoops, somewhere in here, it might look like a little batch of grapes flowing down. At least that's what I have in my mind. Whoops. Oh, there goes my telephone. Thank you, Artie Mays, for that beautiful idea. It works wonders. Oh, my goodness. Look at me getting glue everywhere today. <laughs> Maybe this is telling me that I need to have a cleanup day. I don't want it to glue itself closed. That would be terrible. Okay. Let's take this off the table. There we go. Get rid of that. That way we're not messing things up. And I'm going to let that drip right there. Okay, so there we go. Now let's match it up with a piece of ephemera. We have this. Hi, honey. And we have this little chocolate thing. 
Let's go with that. We're not done with these pieces, of course, but right now we've matched it up. So you can see this time I'm taking just a slightly different approach to um, creating my journal. Now it doesn't mean that these pieces are going to stay with those. It just means that I kind of like it that way right now. It just kind of gives me an idea of things we're, we're going to need to still find. Okay, now here's this one. Surprise me, it says. So we could put just a big old music sheet on there. We could add some dictionary. Oh dear. Going to save those little pieces. Would like that one just a slightly bit straighter. We'll still use those words on something else. And right about there. And Be right about there. Hi, Luigi. And we can have these this way or the other way. If we want, we can add some more words to it upside down so that it's really not a readable piece. That way, if you're worried about some of the words, you don't have to um, worry about them anymore. So that is something that can be done. And we can go simple. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Um, we can go lace. Ooh, I like that. Let's see. I do have it in color. I'm looking at it this way. I think I'll go with this color. I don't know if lace tears this way. I guess it does. Or I guess it will. Um, I might have to get a piece of lace that, I mean this is okay but it is backwards and I wasn't sure I liked it with the backwards look.
I'm not keen on the colors I've put into that. That's why I'm not choosing it. Um, I know that I brought in some lace, or some doilies, paper doilies. Oh, let's see. Let me grab some little ones. Let's look at it with these. Yeah, I like that better. Or do we want it underneath? Ooh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Tuck these in. No, I don't think I don't think that would work. But I do kind of like it. Is the problem? That's the problem. I'm going to glue this onto here. I'm going to start there. And that way it will be centered on there where I want it so that it's not just the stark white middle showing up because that's what I'm trying to avoid. So if I go this way and if I just want this piece showing over here, then I can cut the rest of this off. Hi, hey, Weezy boy. How's my boy, huh? Is he a good boy? He is a good boy, yeah. So did I ever tell you what was wrong with my cats? Luigi over here has pancreatitis. But since he's taken his medicine, he feels much, much better. And I think that he is on the mend. So that is very good for him. It might be this flower is not right. I mean, I don't even care if this sticks off of there. That's okay with me. But I think it's the flower. Well, I think it is. Let's go to this size, see what we can find. Oh, they're a little taller. Oh, hey.
we'll put that there. I think we'll do up these sides a little bit. Got big long hair in there. Okay. Going to glue this down here. Should have probably put a little purple on that or something, but it's okay. Let's just leave it. Okay. Put that on there. That covers up some of the words, so I think that kind of helps a little bit. Now we do have roses. We have some beautiful, uh, what are they, cherry tree? Are they like a wild rose maybe? goes that way. Now there's a nice big one of that one. That's kind of cool. I think we'll go with that. See, here's this one and then there's that one. That'll work. I don't want to waste all my time on just one item. I just want to make some decisions and, and go with it and see how it turns out. Going to grunge up the background a little bit. There we go. Okay. I didn't make it over to Albany today. I just wanted to get in here and craft, so. And I always freak myself out about going out. 
So, you know. There's that. So, what did I do with my towel? Now, a little bit of lace. There's some more of that, uh, what I think is tatting. Isn't that beautiful? Ta-da! The heart. Let's glue that heart down right there. Let's cut it with the curve. If we can. Oh. Let's see. So we would have to go this way. Now, if I wanted this glue to leak out like that, it wouldn't do it. that just dresses it up just a little bit. It always surprises me that um, that you can do that. There's two pockets. And we need a piece of ephemera in there if we have one. Remove the flowers. Oh, look at this. I don't know if that'll fit. I don't think so. Oh, well, it says it will. Okay, so there we go. We have that. And we have this, um, that would work, so that gives us two. I don't know if we're going to leave two in those. Um, we may, we may not. Your laces go over there. Okay, so now we have this one, and I need to dress it up a little bit. You know what I need is some perfume on there. I need a perfume bottle.
but oh 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 here's some of Tina's ephemera look at this Ooh, I like it let's tuck in those sides oh isn't that pretty on there And what else? We used some of her little flowers. And maybe here's a butterfly. Too big. Yeah, these were part of Tina's um, kit. Let's go with something like that. I want something behind here, though because I've put something behind the... Oh, here's the other one. I've put something behind the other ones. So, let's have a look at this pattern. Maybe this pattern has no marks on it. It's an old one. So it does not. Oh, look at that. But what about the instructions? What about that? Yeah, there we go. easier than I thought it would be to tear that off there. I don't know. I don't know if I want this on there. I'm changing my mind now. Well, I had to make it bigger anyway. I think part of the problem is I think I need to trim this just slightly. What do you think? Oh, you think it needs lace behind it? Okay. Lace it is. Here's some of that lacy doily. That might help. That's not bad. Yeah, I think you're right. And I think it needs... It still needs something behind it.
got to trim that off just slightly. Take this off right here. Save that. And then let's tear it off right about here. And then Let's tear it off right about here. Okay. That goes right to the edges, doesn't it? Save that little piece. That'll be good just to edge something with. And we are almost out of time. Let's see if we can finish this up really quick. I want to put this Do we want the doily at the top or the bottom? Let's go with the bottom. Okay. Now. Very pretty. Looks like velvet, the, the black paper. Looks like velvet. Butterfly. I'm not going to put too much ink on them, just a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to put the butterfly. Right about here. Should have inked up his little antennas. So I can still do that. Just have to kind of look under him here. Okay. Now we have this flower. This one, and we have this one, and we have a little bit of a stamp. It works for me.
these were printed on um, Epson paper, uh, Epson um, double-sided presentation mat or photo mat paper. Something like that. So I'm thinking about starting um, what was I going to call it? Um, huh. Can't remember now. Oh well. I'm not going to start it then. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. Totally forgot. It was there and now it's gone. Wow, I just can't remember. It uh, it worked well with the word Monday, whatever it was. <laughs> um. Oh. Oh, mock up. I was thinking of mock up Monday. And it would be just solely doing mock-ups for journals, you know, like pockets and page flips and starting a, a book on that so that it could be referenced back to. So that's what I was thinking about starting in the new year, not right now. In the new year. I must have gotten some glue on that right there. I wish I would not do that. Well, that just looks terrible. Like that. It will have to do. I don't know if I can get it off. You know, we might just put a little piece of glitz in there or something. Going to have to be more careful. There we go. Okay. So, there's our next one. And that is where we're going to end off today. Let me show you what we've done. What have we done? Oh, oh dear. It needs some ephemera. What if we were to put some of this in there? I have to pack it. And we don't finish it. I think it's going to fall down in there. So that will not work. Ooh, but look at this. We have a tag. And we have this pretty little light on. that in first and our little tag oh 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 here we go there that's what we want yep okay right there so let's have a look at what we've done I didn't put any lace on that one so here's our three pockets today. 
let's have a look. There's one. Here's two. And here's the third one. Well, that's actually the second one we did. But there we go. So, uh, tomorrow we have the other three pockets to do. These. I'll see if I can get them started and maybe just show them to you. And then we'll move on to something new. So, um, we're getting close. The ephemera is piling up over there. But I think I want to do some sewing of lace on the edges of the pages. Let me show you. Well, I'll show you tomorrow. Let's save that for tomorrow. I've held you up long enough today. Okay, well, thank you for joining me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And... Um, you know, thumbs up is a like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.